today to remember the Jarro 7, to remember what they did, to commemorate them and to be proud of them. But most of all, for them to drive us on, to fight harder, to make sure that we get the conditions that they would have dreamt of at the time. Thank you. But who were the seven men of Jarrow? In 1831, Thomas Hepburn, pictured here, led a strike to reduce the working day of miners from 18 hours to 12. A year later, in 1832, and inspired by Hepburn, seven men of Jarrow led a strike to protest the poor working conditions in the Jarrow pit. They were arrested for conspiracy and sentenced to life working in the colonies of Australia, leaving their families behind them. Having started at the Jarrow mine shaft, the commemoration has marched through Jarrow and has ended here at the Gin and Ale House to sing songs and talk about how the days went. Let's join them inside. What the ruling class would like is to patch us all off the sun to bed, us to become a distant memory. It's important that people realise who the miners were, who we are, because I don't know a miner yet who doesn't call themselves a miner no matter what they're doing now, whether they're retired or they're working somewhere else. Some might ask, was all this commotion really worth it? In, uh, events like this are important. Uh, it's a piece of our local history and it, uh, and it makes sure everybody knows about us. And talking to even teachers in the local area, they had no idea that this bit of really important history happened, you know, 500 metres from the schools that they are in. And if the teachers don't know, the kids presumably don't know. And this is an important bit of this town's history, of the class, the working class history of this area. And it just absolutely is vital. It's very important that we actually try and keep in contact with our heritage from the Tyneside area. There's a lot known about the Jarrow marches, but there's not so much known about some of the other stuff that's gone along in our heritage, so it's, it's important to keep it all alive. Although this is only the first organised event, organisers hope this will become a more permanent fixture in the local calendar.